Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Instagram plus MasterCard, okay. Okay, basically what I'm thinking is we make the Instagram logo be a circle, including this inner ring, and then we change the colors of the gradient to be more red, more yellow, and then obviously the orange in the middle. And then I wanna change this to say MasterGram. So the first step is gonna to be to make the Instagram logo into a circle. And now I need to add a white ring around it. Okay, so I went ahead and duplicated that and put it down here. And now I'm gonna to try to change the hue of this one so that it looks a little more red. Now I need to make the left side look a little more red, the right side look a little more yellow, and the inside look a little more orange. Lastly, I'm gonna bring in the word Graham from the Instagram font, and here is the final result. Honestly, it's always up in the air on what it's gonna look like when I change the Instagram logo color, but I think this one really lends itself with the red and the yellow. Let me know what you think about this mashup in the comments. Whichever logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Twitter plus Ferrari. Okay, let's go. So I'm thinking what we do is put basically the Twitter bird's head and wings on the Ferrari horse. And then, I don't know, I wanna rename it something for winner. I don't know, we'll come up with something. So first I wanna make the horse blue and try to place the Twitter logo on it so it kinda lines up. Okay, this is looking so silly. Now I do wanna go ahead and add in some of those details just similar to how it already was on the Ferrari logo. Okay, I think I am gonna go with Fur Ritter. So we're gonna need to take out all of these letters. So it has almost every letter that I need, but I'm gonna take the I and just duplicate it and make it look like a T. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that again. And here is the final result. This one is so silly, but I do think I got the style of the Ferrari horse down with the matchup of the bird. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, at first we have Google plus Lego. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I think we have to call this one Goo Go. <laughs> And basically all I really wanna do is take the colors of the Google logo, but put them in the Lego font and then still put this red border around the whole thing. So the first thing I need to do is separate out the G and the O from the Lego logo. And then just duplicate that and add another O so it says Google. Now that I have all that, I need to change all of the letters to be the same color as the Google logo and add on the same black and yellow stroke to it. Finally, I need to place it in the red box and here is the final result. Honestly, the name of this one is just so silly and I love whenever I can put the classic Google logo with its kind of boring font into something more fun. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Starbucks plus Foot Locker. Okay, let's go. Okay, basically what I'm thinking is we take this guy and put him on the Starbucks girls, and then I think I wanna call it Starbucker. All right, so let's bring the Foot Locker guy into position, color him all in green, and then I need to start shaving off parts of him to give him our Starbucks girls physique. Now we need to draw over her complete face and put his head on it. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit so it looks more like the hair is like integrated into his hair. Okay, and I think that's what we're gonna go with for the icon part. All right, and lastly, I do wanna use the color of the Foot Locker logo, but make this part say Starbucker. So I'm gonna change it to be that color, and here is the final result. This one turned out about exactly how I pictured it in my head. The Foot Locker guy with the body of the Starbucks girl just looks so silly. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Chevron plus Microsoft. Okay, let's go. Okay, so basically what I'm thinking is making these be the same color, so like blue and blue, and then duplicating that and putting it in each one of these squares and making them be the different color of each of the Microsoft logo. And then I wanna make this say Chevrosoft. So the first step is gonna be duplicating this blue and then moving it down instead of the red. Now I'm gonna resize that and duplicate it for 
four times. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select each one and adjust the hue and saturation so that we have a kind of decent match to each of the colors. Now that we have that, I wanna take just the first part of Chevron, type out Chevrosoft in that font, and here is the final result. Honestly, this one turned out so cute. I love whenever I get the Microsoft logo and I can just change the different colors of each logo. But something about this with the Chevrosoft at the top, I don't know, it really brings it all together. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever two logos this winter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have NBC plus Nike. All right, let's go. All right, so I'm thinking this is gonna be pretty simple. What I wanna do is take this exact shape and just put it in the place of each one of these little guys. Add in this little beak once I get all of those. Okay, so now I need to go ahead and make multiple different copies of the Nike logo and just place them around. Okay, this is what it's looking like. Now for each of these, I need to go ahead and add a color overlay in the exact colors from the NBC logo. Now the last thing I need to do is just duplicate this little tiny peacock beak, place it onto the other one, and here is the final result. Again with this one, I don't know where I could have gone wrong. The two just fit so perfectly together, but it did come out exactly how I envisioned it. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Netflix plus... Kit Kat, okay. Okay, basically what I'm thinking for this one is making it say Kit Flix and kind of keeping it within the similar style as this original Kit Kat logo. But I think what could be cool is if the whole background was like, hold on, these stripes from the Netflix original intro. So the first thing I wanna do is just erase anything from here over. And then since this is kind of like a font that's clearly created just for this logo, I'm gonna go ahead and try to recreate it, do a color overlay with the brighter red. All right, the last step is gonna be to bring in all of the colors from the Netflix intro. So I'm gonna resize that, cut out the oval, and here's the final result. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Apple plus Tide, okay, let's go. Okay, so basically what I'm thinking is recreating the Apple logo multiple times and coloring it in with these colors. And then I wanna use the Tide font, but call it Tapple. So the first step is gonna be coloring the Apple in different colors. So I'm gonna do a color overlay and make it be yellow. Then I duplicated it and we do the same thing with an orange one. Okay, I did that one more time. Now I'm gonna do basically the exact same thing, but to the little leaf. Now from the Tide logo, I'm gonna steal the T and I'm gonna move it up onto the Apple. And I found out the Tide font is called Compacta, so I'm gonna type out Tapple. It's not going at the right angle, so I'm gonna make it go up and then skew it this way a little bit more. And then finally, I just need to go ahead and add on that white stroke to it and here is the final result. I love when I can add color to the Apple logo. It reminds me of the very old, almost rainbow logo that they used to have. This one turned out really cool to me. Let me know what you think about it in the comments.